In this KuCoin tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how to buy crypto on KuCoin and I'll show you how to use the KuCoin exchange. I'll show you how to create an account on KuCoin, how to deposit on KuCoin, how to buy crypto on KuCoin and how to sell crypto on KuCoin. I'll also show you how to trade crypto on KuCoin and generally how to use KuCoin exchange. So I'll be going over all the important features and while I have put the timestamps in the description below, I recommend you stick around until the end as there's lots of important info. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and if you want financial advice, you should seek a suitably licensed professional. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is sign up if you don't already have an account. If you don't have one already, then I have an affiliate link in the description below, which if you sign up using it, then I will get a kickback and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it massively helps support this channel. But if you don't want to use that link, that's fine also. So just go to the KuCoin website and press sign up. So when signing up, you can put in your phone number or email. If you already have an account, then you can just log in. Now, once you've created an account, you will be asked to supply KYC information, which is pretty common across most crypto exchanges nowadays. KYC is know your customer and it's to prove you are not a criminal. And so when verifying your account, you'll have to upload a photo of your ID and take a selfie. So after uploading KYC, then I recommend you secure your account with multi-factor authentication. So to do this, you want to click the profile button icon in the top right, which will be the first two letters of the email address you registered with. Then you want to click on account security. Now you can supply your phone number or use Google Authenticator, but I personally would use Google Authenticator. Using MFA will provide you with a one-time code when logging in and withdrawing among other functions. If you're using Google Authenticator, you will need the app on your phone. So to enable Google Authenticator, you would click bind here. I've already done this, so mine says change, but it would look like the bind there. You will need to supply a one-time email MFA code, then scan the QR code using the Google Authenticator app. This will give you a six digit code that you will need to input and then the Authenticator app should be bound to KuCoin. There are a whole host of other security features here like restricting IP access, but there are other features here like trading passwords and anti-phishing codes. So feel free to review these and enable what you see fit for your security needs. It's worth setting up a trading password here because you won't be able to do this later on unless you've set that up. Now that your account is secure, we can move on to buying crypto and trading crypto. KuCoin is a crypto to crypto exchange and you can't trade with a fiat currency. But if you don't already have crypto, you can purchase this directly on KuCoin and then start trading afterwards. So if you want to know how to buy crypto on KuCoin, you would go to buy crypto at the top here and then choose fast trade. And this is where you can buy crypto using a credit or debit card or other payment methods. For example, I'm going to say I want to buy 15 GBPs worth of USDT. You can obviously pick the, your most suitable currency here, but mine is sterling. Then you can also choose the cryptocurrency you want from the drop down below. But I'm going to pick USDT for now. You can then pick your payment method, and if you haven't already, you can add your payment method now. So now that I've added my card, I'm going to go and press buy USDT. And you can see I'm going to pay 15 pounds sterling and I'll get $17 roughly in USDT and a fee of one pound for a total of 15. And you can see there that I have received $17.10 of USDT. If I press view assets, you will see this in your wallet and in my funding account. It's worth noting that buying crypto with a credit or debit card is always going to be the most expensive way to do this. Shortly, I will show you how to trade crypto for a lot less fees. If you're wondering how to get to this page, you can also get to it by going to the assets at the top here, and then you can click on your funding account and then you could see your asset here. And there you can see how much I have there. I will now show you how to deposit crypto on KuCoin and there are a number of ways of getting to the deposit crypto page. But if you go to the assets in the top right, 
then you can go down to deposit here. Here you can search for the crypto you want to deposit. So for example, I'm going to pick USDT. You will then need to pick the network you want to send this over. I'm gonna do this on the Ethereum network. Some coins can be sent over multiple networks and it's critical to pick the same one as the withdrawal network you are sending your crypto from, otherwise you may lose your assets. So now you will see your wallet address, which you can copy using the copy button here. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code if you're using a mobile phone. If you're new to this, then it's always worth sending a small test amount of crypto first. So to trade with your crypto, you will need to move it to your trading account. To do this, you will need to find your crypto in your wallet. So I'm gonna go back to my funding account here, and then you want to click transfer to the right of the coin you want to trade with. And so I want to move my USDT from my funding account to my trading account, and I'm gonna say move the max, and then you want to confirm that, and then that should move it over to my trading account. So now if I was to view the assets here, you'd see I have zero on this. So now here on my trading account, you can see I have my USDT. So now I will show you how to trade on KuCoin. So to do this, you go trade at the top and then go spot trading. In the top left, we have the crypto pair we are trading, which is what we are trading from and to, and everything on the screen is then associated with this pair. So with BTC slash USDT, we are buying BTC with USDT. You can search and filter this list to find the pair you want to trade. To the right of this, you can see the last price, the 24 hour high, 24 hour low, 24 hour amount and volume. Uh, below this, we have the chart, which you can adjust quite easily here with different time frames. To the right of this, we have the order book, which shows people selling in red on the top and buy orders in green on the bottom. And to the right of this, we have recently processed trades. In the bottom right, we have the assets overview, which shows your trading account. So there you can see my $17. It's worth noting that things can be dragged around here. So if you've been playing around with this, then things may be in a slightly different location. You can also change the layout from up here if you don't like how it is organized. So moving on to how to place a trade. Today, we will be placing a spot order. So under the place order tab to the right here, I will make sure it's set to spot. There are seven order types if you were to drop down this list, but I will be going into the main two today, a limit order and a market order. The other order types I will cover in a separate video as this is a beginner's video just to get you started. So depending on your trading value, or if you hold KuCoin's own KCS token and dependent on the type of order you choose, this will define the trading fee that you will pay. As I don't use KuCoin as my primary broker, you can see I am at level zero. So therefore I will be paying 0.1% maker and 0.1% taker fees. So for those new to crypto, I will explain the difference. If I place an order at the current market value or what is called a market order, and it, it is therefore processed straight away. So I am deemed as a taker of the market as I am taking the current market price and so pay taker fees. However, if I was to define a new price that is not immediately matched by an order on the order book, I would be creating a limit order and I would be deemed a maker of the market. And I could pay less fees by paying maker fees because as you see here as you go down the levels here the maker fees do start getting less than the taker fees so i will now show you how to place an order so the easiest way to buy or sell crypto here is with a market order which will buy or sell at the current market price so you would first select market here so then you can key in an amount in usdt so you could say 10 usdt but i'm going to say 100 percent of my usdt as mentioned previously we are considered a taker of the market as you're taking the current market price. So for this order, I'm getting charged 0.1% as a fee. So it's worth noting that KuCoin won't actually let you trade without setting up a trading password. And I'm gonna press buy BTC. And you can see I've placed the order successfully. And in my order history, you can now see that down there. And you can also see that I have BTC in my trading account and a tiny bit of USDT. The button label here also indicates that you have the currency pairing the correct way around. If you were to now flip over to the sell tab, you can now see that we have Bitcoin. And if you want to sell this back to USDT, you could do the exact same here as we did before. Okay, I'm gonna transfer this back just so I can show you limit orders next. So now you can see I have my $17 of USDT there. 
So alternatively to a market order, you could use a limit order that lets you specify the price that you want to buy your crypto at. For example, say you look at the chart here, you can see a week ago that Bitcoin was trading around 42,000 here. So then you can dictate that you want to pay 42,000 and nothing more. And so with a limit order, if the crypto goes to this price, then the order will be processed. And as mentioned before, by placing an order above or below the current market price, then you are deemed a maker of the market and so you pay maker fees. So again, I will pay 0.1%. So to place a limit order, you would first click limit here, then key in my limit price, and then I would key in how much I want to buy in either the Bitcoin box or key in a USDT amount. Changing one of these will change the other one. Or you can click one of these percentage amounts here. So once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and press buy BTC. It's worth noting that if the price of your limit order is not reached, then the order will not be processed, but it will hold your money in the meantime. So you can see down here in the open orders tab that I have an order here waiting to be processed and I can cancel this at any point if I no longer want that transaction to go through unless it's already processed. If an order successfully processes, it will move from the open orders tab into the orders history and then you will also see it in your asset overview. You will also see any other orders we have attempted to process in this order history tab also. Once your order is filled, you will see your crypto in the wallet under your trading account. Now, at some point, you may want to either withdraw your crypto to another wallet or close it out to a fiat currency. So to withdraw crypto, you will need to transfer it from your trading account back to your main account. So I'm just going to cancel my open order here. So now under my funding account, we can click withdraw next to the crypto we want to withdraw. On this screen, you would input the wallet address of the wallet you want to transfer your crypto to. You will also need to select the network of the wallet you are sending your crypto to. Fees will vary by network and you will want to double check the wallet and network are correct because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your crypto. You can then key in the amount you want to withdraw and you would see a fee for this transaction and when you are happy with this, you can press withdraw, but I'm not gonna go through with this because I want to keep my crypto on KuCoin for now so that I can show you how to exchange it to Fiat. So alternatively, if you want to exchange your crypto to a traditional currency that you can send back to your bank account, you can do this using their fast trade option, which you get to from up here. Then you would go to the sell tab here. So the options you get for withdrawing your crypto to a Fiat currency will vary depending on the amount you are trying to withdraw and the fiat currency you're going to. Personally, I would not move it to your balance here because when I've done this in the past for GBP and Euro, I was unable to off ramp the currency there. If I key in say 20 USDT here, you will see the options that I have available and I haven't been through them all. So you will have to try these yourself and these are likely to change over time also. But if worst comes to worst where you cannot off ramp your crypto on say KuCoin to a fiat currency, you can always transfer it to another exchange. So in addition to spot trading, KuCoin has loads of additional features that I don't have time to go through in this video, but I will be saving for other videos. So I recommend you subscribe so you don't miss out on these and all the other great finance content I release. And if you got any values from this video, then don't forget to give this video a like as it helps the channel massively. And also if you're new to crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.